What I have described in, in my talk about post-operative management would be when, should, when we should start. We can't just teach someone to do an operation by taking them to the operating room. We've got to start early. And um, I was pleased to know that there was a talk before me talking about preoperative preparation. So, and then the surgery and then postoperative uh, care. So there are a few things which I have sort of discovered through my literature review in terms of updates in the last year or so about factors that contribute to postoperative complications. They are age, when I say age in the context of PSYOC, they're older, old patients. Um, like the over the 80s or even 90s, they're at higher risk of postoperative complications. Second factor is um, one thing which have been looked at thoroughly in this meeting and also in the last year's literature is about postoperative delirium, um, which is an issue for, for the older patients. And that tends to be intensified for patients who got poor cognitive function before surgery, patients who are particularly older, patients who are having surgery of higher intensity in the sense more severe type of surgery, major operations and so forth. Another thing is comorbidity. So the increase in number of comorbidities, the extent as illustrated by different things also contribute to significant post-operative complications. Mm -hmm. Lastly, which is something related to us, is the intensity of surgery and the quality of surgery. So it tends to be more related to like um, a visceral surgery rather than superficial surgery. So the, the more intense the surgery is, the more likely that postoperative complications tend to arise. Um, I think the important thing is you, you, sh you could look at this from a patient pathway perspective. So from the beginning at diagnosis. So what can you offer? So looking in the patient's biological and geriatric perspectives, what are the treatment options available? Is surgery the best option or is there alternative as I have alluded to in my previous talk? Um, then you decide if surgery is going to be the best possible treatment option for this patient to start with, then you make a decision to act early to optimize the patient's situation. By acting early, I mean it starts preoperatively. And then you also decide whether that patient needs more intensive postoperative care. By intensive postoperative care, it doesn't necessarily mean intensive care as in putting a patient in an ITU, but it could be some sort of personalized care depending on the patient's special needs or individualized need because putting someone with potential delirium into an intensive care setting may not actually help. I would say it, it, it would go back to the, orig the old dictum the best surgeon is someone who knows when not to operate. So once you've decided to operate, then you identify the high-risk patients based on the factors that I have alluded to, age, cognitive function, comorbidities, and the intensity of surgery that you're going to perform. Then you act early to optimize the care of that group of high-risk patients.